Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of T Tangle. In this video, let's do this question. So basically, they have asked us to find the area between the curves cos x and sin x from 0 to 3 pi by 2. So that means the this is the sin graph and this is the cos graph, and we have to find the area in between sin and cos graph, which means that it is this area, this one. So I'm just going to shade this one. There you go, we have a nice shaded region here. So we have to find this area. So before we start, let's just a quick review of the area under the curve. That is, say suppose I have a sine graph like this and I'm trying to find the area under the sine graph. So what do we do is, we consider a strip like this. So I'm finding this whole area. So first I have to divide it into strip. So this is from 0 to pi to 2 pi. So you divide it into a small strip of dx. So this is x axis and this will be the function y in terms of y. This is y a function of x and here our function is sin x. So first you divide the area into a small strip of width dx and length y and the area of the small strip is y dx. And if you are planning on to find the whole area, what we have to do is we have to integrate from 0 to till wherever we require the area, right? So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to find this area 1, that is the this area. And then I'm going to find this, that is area 2. That is to find the area 1, to find a1. So a1 is going to be integration from 0 to pi and the function y dx that is this is the small area to find the entire area you have to integrate this from 0 to pi so you will get the area under that curve that is this area so here this will, will be integration from 0 to pi and uh, y we know the function is sin x dx and if you simplify this uh, integration of sin x is minus cos x and if you apply the limits you will be getting this as 2 so the area under this curve is going to be 2 square units. Now here in the second case when finding area 2 I want to point out something interesting. So let's find area 2. The area 2 will be in the same way I can divide this into a strip of dx the width dx and the length y and the area of that strip will be small area that is y into dx to find entire area I have to integrate from pi to 2 pi the y dx so y is sin x so this will be sin x dx and the integration of sin x we know it is cos x and if I apply the limits pi and 2 pi I am going to get the value as minus 2 square units. So that means the total area here should be this is 2 and this will be minus 2 and that is 2 plus minus 2, 0. So we can see that if we simply add the areas, this is going to be 0. Why? Because we did a mistake here. The total area, see the total area is not 0. Why? Because you can see, obviously you can see there is some area here, right? There is some, you know, the real area here and also there is some area here. So it can't be 0. Okay, so that means this should be 2 and this also has to be 2. You are getting minus 2. Why? Because this is symmetric above, this is symmetric below the x-axis. So only in this case you are going to get a positive value. Since in this case the curve is underneath this and symmetrically below the x-axis. So hence you will be getting an area as negative. So always we have to remember that. If you are calculating an area for a curve which is underneath or symmetric below the x-axis, we need to do it. We need to put a negative sign before you calculate the area. We need to negate the area so that you will get the term as positive. So that's what we have to follow. Or else another way to think about this is here the function whichever the function you take is positive function. Why? Right? Because this is the positive y-axis and here since it is coming down you can take this as negative y. So hence it will be the same thing and you will get the area as positive. 
So that's the idea which I want you to know for solving this question. Let's just keep this aside and let's just come back to our question. So here I'm just going to draw the timeline of this. I'm going to divide this into different areas. Now that we have our timeline, let's get into some action. First, I'm going to divide this into different areas. So let me call this areas A1, this area, this be A2 and here the area be A3, this area be A4 and A5. Till A5 I have to find right, because they have asked from 0 to 3 pi by 2. So to find A1, as you can see the idea is very simple. As you can see the curve here that is cos x. So first I am going to find the area under this curve that is cos x this entire area that I can write it as so I have to integrate for a1 I have to integrate from 0 to pi by 4 and I have to integrate cos x cos x dx and from that I have to subtract the area under this curve which is this curve this is a sine graph so I have to subtract the area under this curve which will be this area then I'll be getting the remaining area. So from this area, I need to subtract again from same interval 0 to pi by 4 sin x dx so that I get this remaining area. So that's the idea. So same idea I'm going to follow for A2 also. For A2 also, this will be the area under this graph which will be integration from now the limit is pi by 4 to pi by pi by 4 to pi by 2. So area under this graph. Now this time here the graph is sin x. So this is the curve sin x above. So the area under the graph will be this entire area. So I have to find that area first and then I have to subtract it from the area of this curve which is the cos x curve. This co uh, curve is cos x. So you will find this much area that is the area under so that you will get this remaining area. So this will be minus of cos x dx. In the same way to find the area A3, here we have to be little careful. That is the area, first to find the area, this area. So I am going to find the area under this curve, that is the sine curve. So from pi by 2 to, from pi by 2 to pi, the area under sin x dx. And now I will get this entire area. Now I need to figure out this area. So for this area, I have to use this curve, right, of cos x, which is integration from pi by 2 to pi cos x dx. But I have to be a little careful here that the area, since as I told, the area is symmetric below the x-axis. So we have to take a negative then only it will be accurate why because if you directly integrate this you will get a negative value so we need a positive value why because area can't cancel out so since to make this positive i have to take a negative here so negative so this will be plus why because areas you are adding but here this should be negative which means that plus minus i can just combine this and write it as negative okay now for the area 4 for the area 4, this is the area. So for this area, this will be integration of from pi to 5 pi by 4. So here as you can see the graph is cos x but again as I said it is below the x axis. So I have to take minus cos x dx and then I have to here okay. Here, the thing is, when you calculate this area, you will be get, getting the entire area over here. So, from that, you have to remove the area due to this, uh, this curve, that is sin x curve. So, that sin x curve also, it is below the x axis. So, when you find the area, you should put a negative. So, here, here so from this area, you are subtracting the area under this graph, which is sin x, which is this area. So, when subtracting, this will be pi 5 pi by 4 again when you are finding the area under this curve which is sin x it is below the x axis curve you have to take a negative of that function so that will be negative sin x dx so if i want to combine these two this is going to be minus and minus this is plus and now for the fifth area this is going to be from 0 to 
sorry from 5 pi by 4 to 3 pi by 2 finally so this area that is area under this graph which is the sin x so again it is below the x-axis so I have to take negative sin x dx and you have to subtract from this much area you have to subtract the area under this graph which will be graph of cos x and again this is from 5 pi by 4 to pi 3 pi by 2 again when I subtract I have to take a negative sign why because here this is below the x-axis so again this will be negative and this negative negative this will become positive as you can see this already looks so much but uh, what you can do is to uh, do it a little more uh, simple way you can combine lot of stuffs in this that is say first one this one I can combine it as 0 to pi by 4 the total area is 0 to pi by 4 cos x minus sin x dx since the interval is same the range is same from 0 to pi by 4 I can combine this and write cos x minus sin x dx and if you look at these three you can see that all the three have the same function that is here it is sin x minus cos x here also sin x minus cos x also here also it is sin x minus cos x and also the interval is also continuous that is you start from pi by 4 to pi by 2 and then from pi by 2 to pi and then from pi to 5 pi by 4 which means that this is one continuous interval that is instead of all this you can directly write from pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 so I can write this as so I have to add all these areas so I can write from pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 and the functions are same that is sin x minus cos x dx and the last one here that is plus from 5 pi by 4 to 3 pi by 2 minus sin x uh, minus this I can write it as cos x minus sin x so this will be cos x minus sin x dx now this looks much more simplified so you can integrate this now here you might be tempted to think that this is same that is cos x minus sin x here also this is cos x minus sin x and you will be thinking of combining the two so you know that can't happen why because these are not continuous intervals so this is 0 to pi by 4 and here it is pi by 4 to 3 pi by 2 so don't try to merge those two so yeah you can find uh, like this now that you clearly know of how to do this question I'll tell you a very simple way in which you can solve this question without wasting any time in the exam so this is just because of the symmetry of the graphs you can do it very directly so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to calculate this a1 so we know a1 is integration from 0 to pi by 4 that is cos x minus sin x dx and if I integrate this I'll get minus sorry sin x plus cos x and applying the limit so if I apply pi by 4 I'm going to get 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 so adding it root 2 and minus sin 0 uh, 0 and cos 0 is 1 so I'll get root 2 minus 1 and in the same way I'm going to find this area that is not a3 a3 is this entire area I'm just going to find this much that is this part the upper part this this area sorry this this area so that is going to be let me call this area as a6 so this a6 is integration from pi by 2 to pi and this function that is sin x dx so if I integrate this this will be minus cos x from pi by 2 to pi and if I substitute the limit I'll get it as 1 now now is the best part this area you see is exactly same as this area or same as this area this area so instead of finding every time these areas I can just find one of the area and multiply it by 4 right so this whole thing I can multiply with 4 in the same way if you look at this area look at the symmetry even this area is exactly same as this one so instead of finding both of them I just have to find one and multiply it with two 
so this i can multiply with 2 now what i can do is now i can add these two so that will be 4 root 2 minus 1 4 into root 2 minus 1 plus 2 so this if i simplify i'll get 4 root 2 minus 2 so that should be the correct option from the options this is the correct answer so i hope this video was quite useful for uh, solving questions based on area under the curves and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you all next video